I forgot the Glock. Damn it. Okay, I think this is how the vloggers do it. Oh. Ah. Uh, oh. Ah. E. This always works for a good stand. Sweet. So, welcome. Welcome to the uh, GFC. We're in the back. Got it all set up for you guys. Um, so, my name is Johnny, like I said. It's my first video, so if you have any critiques or anything I can do better, please let me know. Um, this is sort of just like a fun little, here's my GoFast camper, uh, this is what works, these are some of the things I have um, that I like, and uh, it's not really a full walk around video. All right, boys and squirrels, so here's the GFC. Got the cool orange frame with the black, sort of like the uh, black on white with the orange accents, pretty sick. Got the spare tire, whole swing out, rear bumper. Flows really well. But yeah, here's the camper. It's got a window here, a little vent there. Uh, we don't really use that as a window, more a vent. It's got these cool little side opening panels, which are so satisfying to click. And it's got some pinstripes. That doesn't come with the camper. That's kind of what it looks like opened. Um, pretty easy to access stuff on the inside right here. Got a cool little ax that are just, uh, clamp down like so via the cro or via these bars um, I personally love the orange frame um, it's honestly the main reason why I'm not getting a v2 and um, I just think it looks so good with the black uh, the black tent I just think it looks fantastic and I was extremely grateful to get the black tent um, got some Bajas on the sides um, we'll show you how those work here in a sec probably the coolest most overlooked thing are these sweet little levels from Amazon those things are rad got a side one and then for the rear I have one in the back so anytime I get to camp I just make sure that those levels are um, level so yeah that's the camper from the outside we'll uh, hop in and talk about some things on the interior so let's get it so getting in and out of the camper is pretty easy you just grab your sweet little stool and then you uh, one hand operation, you can open it like that, and then just move it close to the camper. Now you got a little step, boom, boom, boom. And now we're in. So now we're in the camper, here she blows. Um, we'll talk about some of the stuff in here in just a moment, but first, let me eat my food. Cool, so starting off is this uh, drawer system I had a buddy help me make. Um, it's made out of, I believe it's uh, mostly half and three quarter inch, uh, birch plywood um, and it's super strong you can stand on it it's really rad it's got these little cutouts for the sides I wanted this in specific because if I'm getting stuff out of the side panels right here I want to be able to kind of grab these pull them out grab what I need whatever so yeah I'll show you how this opens up it's pretty sleek two handles grab your thumbs boom pull and then it comes right out I usually don't take it all the way out just because it's not bolted and this is also not a long term long term solution so it's not bolted to the deck or anything like that so most of the weight's in that third panel back there that's all my tools and stuff but I usually just take it out to right here and it's fine um, this is all sort of like cooking stuff um, yeah it's a mess I need to organize this I haven't been in the camper in a while so um, we're gonna do some organizing but yeah that's that what I really like about it though is the fact that you can stand on it to standing on the inside and it makes getting in and out really easy because now you have a little step. Um, one thing that I always forget I even have because I use it so much is this sweet surf grass. And it's literally just artificial turf from Lowe's. It costs like, I don't know, a hundred bucks for a million feet. I like it. It's good for surfboards, good for wetsuits, good for just like hanging in the bag, pet, stuff like that. It's nice on your feet, um, stays pretty warm. So I like it, it's really cool. I am standing here. And I'm five foot eight and I have, I don't know, a whole foot, maybe foot or two of clearance if I'm over here. Obviously the closer you go in the wedge, it's gonna get smaller, so. Um, but yeah, I'm standing on this right now, kind of just hanging out. And I'll show you guys how to eat this stuff here in a sec too. I'm literally just take shots of it, it's so good. Mm. Yeah, I'm really awkward because I've never like vlogged before, but eh, whatever. Hey, me again. So this is kind of what it's like with all the mattress pads. 
um, sort of stuff back here. And so I got the main one that I was eating on just a second ago, put the cushion back on top, and then the two small ones down there. And as you can see, there is a whole bunch of room for activities. Like there's so much room in here, like there's that wall, there's this wall, bunch of room, I don't know. You could fit like, what I could see people doing is honestly just like chilling in here before like a gnarly like mountain bike sesh or ski trip or you're about to go surf and the boards are outside. Um, this is a great spot if it's cold outside to kind of just hide from the rain, make some coffee. Again, I have a five foot bed camper in my, um, in my Tacoma so I feel like you could fit three, maybe up to four people in here pretty comfortably. Especially if you have a uh, pretty dialed um, bed space, whether that be storage or, or couch mode, something like that. I've seen guys do that on like the GFC forum and Instagram, make cool little couches in the back use, utilizing these two panels, like the smaller panels. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of room for like seating and storage and stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. It's really comfy. It's really homey in here. Again, I'm not really outside like in the desert or anything. I'm just in a parking garage taking pictures, but if I was in a cooler spot, it'd be much more enjoyable for sure. But yeah, let me show you the rest of the stuff I got. We'll keep this kind of quick, pretty simple to the point. I'll do an actual walk around video at some point, but um, I'll just give you guys a quick rundown. So with all this room right here, uh, we kind of decided to like leave it open. Um, reason for that is just so we can sit on this and you know, change tire shoes, whatever we need to do. As you can see, I have a plethora of patches up on the wall sort of a patch addict and then some more behind me so yeah that's what the walls look like all i used was this um it's like a uh, 3m kind of sticky velcro from amazon and i just got a bunch of strips and laid them across and cut them to piece not perfect but it's okay and it works um i'm just worried about the residue being left over anyway we have a little switch panel down here so you're not gonna really be able to see the lights but i've got a power to kind of read my voltage see what the battery's at uh i can't really see it on camera but it looks like it says about 13.1 got some dome lights so that's just some red leds some bajas um rock lights in each corner all four corners and then we got some upstairs lights which have yet to be wired and then downstairs lights, which are running kind of like along this little track right here, all the way. And then there's some back there too. And then on this side as well. Again, yet to be wired. I got work lights on the side, some white S1s, and then some amber S1s. I'm sorry, these are S2s, these are S1s, um, and sort of an amber. So this is left and right side. This is left and right side as a work scene. Downstairs, upstairs, dome lights, power. And then I've also got a little 12 volt, um, or sorry, a five volt uh, USB charging port for like phones or whatever. That's pretty handy. And then a 12 volt for, let's say if I put a fridge back here or something like that, even though it's on the inside. Um, so I'll be honest, this storage setup is not dialed to the T yet. Um, so I'm still working out some kinks. However, uh, my main goal is to just make it more organized. For example, this kitchen bin, which is just pots, pans, and dishes and stuff like that. Um, we're gonna eventually uh, consolidate into here. Extra drinking water, that's just kind of back here because I put it back here recently, it doesn't really stay in there. Uh, this does stay in here, it's a 10 pound um, propane tank from, I forgot, oh Worthington is the brand. Um, this is pretty cool, it's on an Expedition Essentials um, propane mount which is super handy. I love this thing, it's really rad and it just bolts right into the uh, sort of the Tacoma bed rail T-Track system which is sweet. And I've had this for over a year and it's still in the green. Um, it's off right now, which so it's in the red, but it goes about right there and I've used it for a handful of times, um, but the deployment did kinda, you know, wander on it. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then I got these kinda um, Rego fabrication, sort of molly panels, but they're basically to mount stuff like cargo and stuff like that. Uh, my main goal is to, once I consolidate this, is to put a, um, a jack right there like a pro eagle or something just so i have a spare um or sorry just so i can change a spare like a tire or anything like that um wasn't really a big fan of putting the high lift right here so i think i'm just gonna get the uh pro eagle and i think it's a pretty clever spot to put it right here sort of out of the way got the scottle back here tembo tusk this thing's been cool it's what i primarily cook on i love it um the case is getting a little worn out from it hanging and stuff but um it's all good by the way i have most things hanging on these carabiners and then this um, tie down ring right here this little guy right there it's called uh, it's a company called Canyon Dancer and I have a bunch of them kind of throughout the camper just to tie stuff down 
Um, again, got most of this stuff on Amazon. Um, there's stuff everywhere. I got this cool little um, bungee thing. We usually put our pillows and sleeping bags. Um, if they don't hang, we'll just stuff them in here. It's pretty sweet. Again, Amazon paper towel holder. I uh, just made some paracord, or sorry, I had leftover paracord lying around. Got some 550 cord. Uh, some carabiners, again, Canon Dancer tie down rings, which these things are way overkill, but they're so cool. And I made a little paper towel holder, so that's pretty rad. Vernacular right here, which we'll talk about. Uh, it's sort of my air down, air up kit. And then I have the top shelf as well, which is great for wedding rings, keys, phones, um, sort of beanies, camping, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I use that a lot. Got a window which is really dirty, even after a recent wash. That is one complaint is that you can't really wash the back of the GFC window. You kind of just got to wing it, but looks are for kids. Um, why did I just say looks are for kids? I don't know why I said that. Uh, back here, it's really messy and unorganized. I've got a shovel, sort of like a mallet, um, trash, just, you know, random stuff. Probably the most useful thing back here is this guy just to get in and out of the camper. And then I have the legs for the scottle back there. All right, so you got these pretty cool uh, windows and doors. I think, yeah, these are the doors, these are the windows technically. We just use them as vents for condensation purposes, just leave them half cracked like that. They do go all the way down though, um, but we don't really use them too much, uh, especially when it's kind of windy out. These uh, are pretty sweet because I primarily use them for obviously to see the view, but the real reason, you, my uh, girlfriend can attest to this too, the real reason is you can open it and take a whiz out the side. Um, so in the middle of the night, you don't gotta get out. It's pretty sweet. But yeah, I'll be honest, that's what I use it for. A zip up, nice quality zippers. There's also some carabiners throughout the camper that you'll get, like so. And there's one, and there's one back here somewhere. I don't know if I, you guys can see that or not. There's a carabiner right there. And that kind of just cinches the camper down so when you're closing it, it's pretty easy. I got this sweet um, top shelf storage bag by Tom from Vernacular Storage. He's a single man out of Oakland and he sews all these handmade. They're super high quality. You fit a lot of stuff in there. We usually just put beanies, uh, stuff like that in there. And then we got the air up, air down kit, which I'll show you now. So um, I'll show you guys the other vernacular storage bag that I use for airing up and airing down on the camper. Uh, it's pretty cool because you don't have to really like open the camper or anything. You just open one side right here. And then right here you got some miscellaneous stuff. I put my actual air hose in there uh, from ARB and there's a twin compressor back here behind the seat. Um, and then air chuck, or sorry, air gauge is right here. I won't take it out. But yeah, that's that. This is just some random like tools. I think these are zip ties and then, like I said, the actual um, hose for the air up stuff's right here. That's where you yeah, it makes it super handy. Um, and uh, yeah, that's my dad. Another cool thing about these side panels is it provides nice shade. It's really nice. And then, well, I guess I'm still in the shade, but then you can just close it up. Super dialed, I like it, um, but yeah. Obviously this is a part of the Go Fast Camper, um, but this is just like a little table, more of like a big sticker collection for me now. Uh, but yeah, that's like a table for cooking, uh, just part of my swing out setup and rear bumper and all that. But yeah, there's the GFC. Looks pretty good on the Tacomas. I know Tacomas are a very, very popular vehicle, but um, I think they look really good on them. I think they look good on all trucks besides Honda Ridgelines. There's the camper with the dirty roof. Got a set of Max Tracks up there, two beef bars, and some uh, surf pads right there. So yeah, that's my setup. Very simple, uh, very clean. I like it, I'm a simple guy. I don't need too much. My favorite things about this is honestly like the utility side of it. Um, being able to have a secure space to store like my surfboards or honestly really anything. It's good for like groceries and stuff too. You just, boom. Oh, it's such a good click back from the store, put your groceries in here, nice and secure. You don't gotta worry about people stealing them, which is sweet. Um, and then, I think I already talked about these lights, but yeah, I got some work scenes on the side and then some sort of ambers right there and then some chase lights in the rear. Cool, guys and squirrels. So thank you guys for watching so much. It's my first video, so hopefully I did a good job. Probably didn't, but if I did, leave a comment. Um, I'd love to hear your guys' feedback and I'll make some more trip videos. So in the meantime, you guys take care, stay frosty.
How fast was that? 